today. Today we're going to do a kettlebell or dumbbell workout. Some of it will be timed, some of it won't be timed, so just follow along with me today. We're going to start our warm up today with a kettlebell. You can go without a kettlebell or you can use a dumbbell. And a dumbbell for the whole workout today, you don't have to use a kettlebell. Or if you have a water bottle, use a water bottle. We are going to have an ab workout today that will require you to use a pillow. If you don't have a pillow, something soft that you can put between your legs to lift. Um, if you have also a mat, it would be great to have a mat as well for the ab. Alright, so before we get started, we're going to just have one exercise that's going to be on the mat for the ab, just so you know. So you don't have to keep pulling that out all the time. So you can leave the mat to the side. So, before we get started, we're going to do a time warm up that's going to require the kettlebell. So, we're going to start with the kettlebell to start with. So, we have three cardio exercises and then we'll do shoulder warm ups. Alright, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, and starting with the kettlebell swing and let's go. Kettlebell swing. So, you're pushing your hips forward. Make sure you don't lean back. Don't lean, don't lean back. Stay upright and then stay hips. Pushing through and forward. Hips pushing through and forward. So make sure you're back in your heels of your feet. So we're all in 30 seconds. Keep going, keep going. So perfect. Now we're going to take you to the squats. Front load squat. So we're going to do a front load squat. Down. Uh, keep the back kind of between the legs. Let's go. 
Keep going, keep going, let's go, let's go. Yeah. 
and legs at the same time. Okay, so I'll go over the exercises and then we will do the exercise in the first round. If you do three or four rounds of it today, we're going to do three. I'm going to take for video. So to get started, we're going to start with uh, cardio, which is jumping jacks. We can get our heart rate up before we do our weight training. And then that way, as we do that, we burn more calories. All right, so jumping jacks you can do. If you want to get fancy, you can do scissor ones, you cross over, or jumping jacks, cross over the legs. So you see how my legs cross right in front. I'm going to do the crossover ones. So we're going to get going in three, two, one, and so. So, cross it over. So we're going to do 30 seconds for the cardio. Just get the heart rate up. Come back 
the way down, go all the way down, come up, pass it, and up to the top. All right, we're gonna try and do 10. Do as many as you can here, ready? Three, two, one, and go down, come up, and pass, one. Make sure you keep that back flat. Only go down as far as you can, then you can hit the back flat and engage the core. So, two, up, nice, so, three, squeeze in that pillow, three, so, four, four, down, up, lift, four, so, five, five, up, six, down, up, There you go, seven, so seven, eight, let's go, eight, eight, up, down, two more, we can do this, nine, so ten, ten, Back to reps. Today we're going to do 
rotate up at the ceiling, you expand the arms up to get into triceps. You use kettle that way, or dumbbell that way, or you can do this way, holding it horizontally and set, set, not vertically. You have those two alternatives, okay? I'm going to use the kettlebell, kettlebell, I'm going to have bottoms up, bottoms up. So I get behind and I drop that, I'm going to drop the handle and lift up. Ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. Now up, one, let's go, two, then exhale, three, four, let's go, five, six, Nice seven, eight, nine, so nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, one more, keep those knees bent, fifteen, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna do a thirty second plank with front delt raises. So, what you do is you hold the plank, you want your Shoulder over your, your wrist, so you're going to be right over top. Feet are going to be hip width apart, but you're going to be the same width as your hands. But you're going to alternate and lift, opposite, lifting each arm up to front delt raise. If you can't do that, lifting the arm up, hold the plank. Just hold the plank and hold it there for 30 seconds. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and so. So, lift, reach. Down, up, lift, and reach. Keep going. 10 seconds down, let's go. Gauge that core, lift and reach. Lift and reach. 12 seconds. 10 seconds, so home stretch. Three, two, one, perfect. Yay, grab a quick water. We're now taking it to our jumping jacks. So low impact jumping jacks, high. Or you can do the fancy crossover with your feet. I'm gonna do the fancy ones. Here we go, three, two, one, and let's go. Yes, 30 seconds we're doing this for. Pace yourself, let's go. Breathe, breathe. Yep, take the low impact, take it down to low impact. Seven. And rest. Okay, now we're gonna grab it two. Squat shoulder press. Squat shoulder press. 15 of them. So grab a kettlebell, dumbbell. No timing, 15 reps we're going to do. I'll check my timer here. All right, here we go. Squat shoulder press, three, two, one. Step back to the heels. Inhale to stand again to the back lats. Over the shoulders. Get those arms by the ears. And exhale up, two. So, up, three. So, four. And you have some. Five. Six. Seven, keep going. Eight, seven more. Let's go. So, seven, seven. So, six, five more. Let's go. Five, three, inhale. Four. So, three, two, one more, one more. Yay. Perfect. All right, now we're going to take your bicep. You can go heavier if you want, pick your weight. So balance work is essential. We don't focus on balance work enough. So when we get on the ice, you know, or something uneven, if you have this balance, you will, you will actually prevent yourself from getting hurt. So knee up, shoulders back, chest out. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, so two.
So, feet are planted, hip width apart, gauge the core so you're not arching your back, gauge the core, pelvic tilt, ready? Three, two, one. So, one, so two, three, four, Fifteen. 
perfect. Yay, other side. Here we go, three, two, one, and let's go. One, two,
So I'm here to help. If you need me at all, just let me know. Shoot me a text, email, whatever. I can help you in any way. I'd be greatly appreciated. Um, because I know what you're going through. We're all going through this together. So thank you so much. Think about what's positive about today. Gratitude for being where we are today. And have yourself a wonderful day.